Hi friends, in this presentation I will discuss the main differences between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Please note that the both sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system are the main divisions of the autonomic nervous system. Origination of neurons for sympathetic nervous system. As you can see in the image, sympathetic nerves originate from thoracic region, right from T1 to T12 and from lumbar region from L1 to L2. This portion is thoracic region and this portion is a part of lumbar region. As sympathetic nerves originate from thoracic region and lumbar region, that's why they are also called thoracolumbar outflow. Origination of parasympathetic nerves. Parasympathetic nerves originate from cranial region. C3, C7, C9 and C10 as well as from sacral region and that's why they are also called as craniosacral outflow. Next and very important difference is that sympathetic preganglionic nerves are shorter whereas postganglionic nerves are longer. Due to this reason their response is faster. Probably you have noticed that in fight and flight response you take decision very quick and take action accordingly. Whereas parasympathetic preganglionic nerve fiber is longer and postganglionic fiber is shorter. Due to this they have slow response. As you know that parasympathetic nervous system also known as rest and digest. So you don't bother how slower your digestion take place. If you had your meal and taking rest, your all nerves connecting to GIT, liver, gallbladder, kidney and other parasympathetic tissues are overactive to make your digestion faster. While your other vital organ linked with sympathetic nerves like heart, lungs, eyes, respiratory system in rest mode and their activities are slower than the usual. Assume there is an emergency situation. On that case, your sympathetic activities are being activated and parasympathetic activities are paused. In the image, you can see that sympathetic preganglionic fiber is shorter. Whereas postganglionic fiber in sympathetic nerves is longer. On other hand, Preganglionic fiber of parasympathetic nerves is longer whereas postganglionic fiber of parasympathetic fiber is shorter. One important thing I want to remark here that some students have confusion between ganglion and synaptic cleft. So please note down a ganglion contains thousands of synaptic clefts. Whereas synaptic cleft is a tiny gap between the terminal of presynaptic nerves and postsynaptic nerve. So we can say that main difference between ganglion and synapse is that a ganglion has thousands of synapses whereas a synapse is a small junction where two neurons come closer during the signal transmission. Now let's discuss the sympathetic and parasympathetic effects on organs. Sympathetic effects on pupils. Due to sympathetic effects, pupils are dilated to make you see longer distance. In parasympathetic response, your pupils are constricted as you are in rest and digest condition. In sympathetic response, production of saliva is inhibited. That's why you feel your mouth and throat are dry. In parasympathetic response, salivary gland is stimulated to produce more saliva. In sympathetic response, your heartbeat is faster to pump out more blood to the peripheral tissues and body part to work faster. Whereas in parasympathetic response, your heartbeat is slower. Due to sympathetic effects, bronchial tube and airways are dilated to receive more oxygen and supply to the body part. Whereas due to parasympathetic effects, the airways are constricted. In sympathetic response, stomach activities are inhibited 
as you are in emergency situation so digestion is the less important for your body once you get over from the emergency your digestion activity will be resumed whereas in parasympathetic response your stomach activities are stimulated and there are lots of enzyme and digestive juice are secreted inside the git to make digestion faster in sympathetic response gall bladder activity is inhibited whereas in parasympathetic response gall bladder activity is stimulated to produce more bile due to sympathetic effects intestine activities are inhibited whereas due to parasympathetic effects intestine activities are stimulated in sympathetic response epinephrine and norepinephrine are secreted by the adrenal gland as these two hormones epinephrine and norepinephrine increase heart rate blood pressure and sugar level in body whereas in parasympathetic response there is no effects on the secretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine in sympathetic response bladder as well as genital organs are relaxed whereas in parasympathetic response bladder contracts and genital organs are stimulated thank you so much for watching and your